Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Lucy Chege, and on my channel, I call myself Lineage Chege. So it's supper time, and uh, I just want to prepare some ugali. The skumawiki and spinach are ready for me to eat. So I just want to do this make ugali, and then I will make some eggs. I have two eggs here. And uh, don't worry about my kitchen, it's a bit tiny, but uh, we can do this. So I'm just crushing my two eggs. Uh, in my previous videos, I have told you that I have chicken that I rear. And uh, that's how I have my eggs. And I've been enjoying my eggs since the time I started rearing chicken. Now for a couple of years now so i just want to have i have my eggs and i'm going to add a bit just a bit of black pepper and then i will put some salt just a pinch of salt then i will stir this together As you wait for the ugali water to boil, just prepare this. Right, it's ready. Then I want to add on a tomato. I have one tomato here onto the egg. And since my vegetables have a lot of onions, I like preparing my food with a lot of onions. I will not need to put any onions on this egg. Just want to add the tomato. Because I rarely put uh, tomatoes on into my vegetables when cooking. I make a lot of vegetables to last me like two weeks. So I've already made my vegetables. So all what I do is just remove from the fridge and warm. Then I eat with whatever I am ready to. So most of the time, I like eating ugali, my greens, my vegetables rather, with ugali, sometimes with rice. It's very yummy with rice, by the way and uh, chapati so that's how i have prepared my eggs and they are ready cook so on my pan here that i have prepared i just put in some oil where is my oil here I just put in some little oil That's just enough to make my egg. Here we go. So usually I don't throw away my used match sticks. I like putting them in a box like this. And then when it's full, I discard. Because you know, mud sticks can really make a house look clumsy and dirty, you know? So we wait for the oil to heat up. And my water is also getting ready for ugali. I'm using soko ugali this time. So as the oil heats up, I would like to thank you so, so much for all of you who are here as new subscribers. Karibuni sana. 
and for the returning subscribers kindly keep subs keep liking the contents that i am uploading every time always give a thumbs up i can see that so many people are subscribing and they are viewing but very few are remembering to like please remember to like hit that like button every time hit the like button hit the like button i repeat again hit the like button please do not forget to hit the like button so my i see my oil is ready so i just want to add in my eggs Just a protein to add on into my diet today. this heat a bit and then since my organic water is ready I'm going to add in some flour some people like soft ugali others like it very hard and I remember when we were growing up <laughs> my grandmother whenever we used to go home my grandmother used to say if you hit your ugali on the wall <laughs> and it doesn't stick, it's not ready. So you have to prepare your ugali and hit it on the wall. Can you imagine? Like seriously? That's an experiment to, be, <laughs> to try whether the ugali is ready or not. And when she tested the ugali, whoever made the ugali and she tested and felt it was not ready, then she will call upon me and tell you that where here ugali dena here ne jeve that is to say <laughs> the ugali is not ready and you have to prepare some good food for her to eat because she would not eat that ugali i tell you that was my grandmother for you she is past But we still remember her for the very many things she taught us and whenever we went shy that is she taught us a lot and uh, she was a disciplinarian a very tough woman I tell you you'll not misbehave in front of my grandma like how now hmm? how So that's how I make my ugali, just put water. I actually measure water, my water <laughs> with my eyes because I know it's just enough for two meals. This is ugali I will eat today for dinner and tomorrow, lunch time, or maybe evening. So I make sure it has cooked well because I don't like the taste of raw eggs. I can 
really do I don't know I don't know whether just let me know comment down there and let me know whether you like an egg that is not fully cooked or you like it cooked just like I am doing here make it I want it to, to cook a little bit more because when silly I buy Jai Vajale I So I have to make sure it is just great. Clean this as a little bit then this bowl that I was making eggs with. I do not like seeing <laughs> dishes piling up in the sink in I clean as I continue. I have learned to do that. And uh, I feel it's better than finding dishes until later. And then after eating again, I make sure I have washed the dishes that I have used. Um, I am just thinking I should warm my vegetables here in this same pan since. I don't want to use a lot of dishes also. I mean it's not dirty. So this is what I just left for myself for this time. For this time in the evening. The rest I have already kept in the fridge. So that at least I could warm it together. Then I will serve and eat. I love vegetables a lot. I make sure I have vegetables and you also so when I cut it that I have uh, I am growing or I have been growing my spinaliki. And I like it when I eat my fresh spinaliki from my garden. This I know Ziko Salama. I just put them with the water. I use uh, manure from my chicken. And that's it. By the way, it's very easy to grow or to have a kitchen garden. And since we, we live in this big high rises in Nairobi I just use pots my, my, my pots are bottles the bottles from the drinking water we buy I don't throw away so that as I continue I add more soil and I grow more plants so next time you will have to, you will see that I will have more plants than I have now because I'm trying to gather soil. Getting soil is not really easy. Whoops, like that. Because you have to go get look for soil wherever. Have it transported to here. Then I can start using it. So since my ugali is almost ready, preparing a plate here. It is almost ready here, warming up.
remember to like 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 my content please guys support a sister girl you know it's important just to support support me there I'm giving you content all the way from Nairobi Kenya yeah so my ugali is almost ready 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 like ready And my food has warmed up and ready to eat so I'll just remove the ugali from the jiko and serve I will serve on this plate here I told you my kitchen is not very big but we make use of what we have right yes I can smell the ugali. Is it smelling? It smells nice. Look, Swahili and English, the words can really confuse you. Kinanuka, kinanukia. Kunuka ni kitu kinanuka jibaya. Kunukia ni kitu chanukia vizuri. So what do we say in English? Hey guys, I put on you there. Can I say my weepy? You say that it, the food smells nice. Or what do you say? I had this fruit plate before, half an hour ago, that has pineapple, watermelon, apple, and banana. Then on top, I just uh, put a splash of... Uh, some vanilla yogurt so yes that's my meal for today